Hi guys, and welcome to our podcast. Today we're going to discuss about the traditional IRA pros and cons. An individual retirement account, IRA, is an outstanding retirement savings tool for a maximum number of people. Created with the aid of the federal authorities, IRAs can be funded at some point in your functioning years. All through retirement, IRAs may additionally assist to complement your social protection advantages. Your retirement savings can begin together with your annual IRA contribution. So what is an IRA? In case you're under the age of 50, the cutting edge maximum annual contribution amount is $5,000. For those 50 years and older, a further $1,000 can be contributed. If turning 50 this year, you're now eligible to contribute $6,000. The contribution quantities are adjusted for inflation each year by means of the federal authorities. IRAs are available in two types, conventional and Roth. A traditional IRA may be very similar to a Roth IRA other than the tax treatment. The traditional IRA's key advantage is that it lets in a person to make the annual tax-deductible contributions to one's retirement fund. However, unlike the Roth IRA, the conventional IRA does not permit for earnings to grow tax-free. In the long run, it comes down to your non-public financial state of affairs while determining which IRA account is suitable for you. Here are the guidelines to be eligible to make contributions to a conventional IRA. Number one. All inactive U.S. taxpayers in a sponsored business plan are eligible to contribute towards IRA. Number two, the maximum annual contribution per individual is $5,000. Married couples can make a contribution of $10,000. If you are 50 or older, you can make a contribution of $6,000, according to individual yearly due to a catch-up provision. Number three, your contributions are tax-deductible up to 100%. Number four, Conventional IRAs are an excellent manner to keep money and get a deduction of tax at the same time. In case you make yearly investments of $6,000 into a traditional IRA, you could claim a $6,000 tax deduction. This tax deduction will lower your adjusted gross income, which lowers your tax liability. You needn't pay any tax on your contributions until you withdraw your funds, or at the age of 70 and a half. There are numerous advantages to these IRAs. Let's cover brief advantages, what they are, and also what they mean. First, deductible contributions. The plan benefit to a conventional IRA is getting to deduct your contributions. This makes traditional IRAs specifically useful if you assume that you will pay a lower tax price in retirement than you will when you make the contribution. You also declare the deduction as an adjustment to profits, which means that you can claim the tax break even if you don't itemize. The drawback is you aren't eligible to deduct your contributions if you put cash in a corporation subsidized plan, or your spouse does, and your modified adjusted gross income is too high. Second advantage is tax deferred growth. Your contribution grows tax deferred until you withdraw the cash and you no longer pay taxes while your money increases. Another important advantage is anyone can contribute. Anyone can contribute as long as they've earned earnings. However, you cannot contribute extra cash to a conventional IRA than what you have already received in yearly earned income. Example, in case you best made $6,000 per year, you can only make a contribution of up to $6,000 for your conventional IRA for that unique year. For 2013 to 2014, the yearly contribution restriction is $5,500, $6,500 in case you're beyond 50, and you've got the liberty to invest in any sort of funding you are secure with shares, mutual price range, ETFs, mostly REITs, bonds, CDs, annuities, and so on. Tax sheltered growth is also a common advantage. Whilst the cash sits in your traditional IRA, you shouldn't pay taxes on any of the profits in your investments. X in case you make a killing on stock investments when you promote the inventory inside the IRA, you shouldn't pay taxes on the gains. Thus you can reinvest the entire amount to help stabilize and increase your account balance. Also, in terms of bankruptcy protection, traditional IRA offers a good solution. As contributions are protected from creditors, any eligible individual's money or IRAs recognized by the federal tax-coded REVEL in vast protection at any stage of failure. President George W. Bush signed the Bankruptcy Abuse Prevention and Consumer Protection Act, or BAPCPA, in 2005. Protection under this regulation varies relying on the form of IRA. As of August 2015, conventional IRAs and Roth IRAs are protected to a cost of $1,245,475. This fee is adjusted for inflation every three years, with the next adjustment date scheduled for April 1, 2016. 
SEP IRAs, simple IRAs, and most rollover IRAs are absolutely protected from lenders in a financial ruin, irrespective of the dollar fee. The last thing is the control you get in a traditional IRA. With an IRA, you get to determine where to open it via a bank, mutual fund employer, online dealer, or an investment business enterprise like Betterment. In addition, you may choose your investment options within your limits. The options available to you depends on where you open your account. You also can alternate the asset allocation within your IRA. While there are numerous advantages, nothing is ever 100% sound. To look at only advantages is to be naive. Let's briefly go over some disadvantages to consider. First, taxable distributions. You cannot keep away from taxes all the time with a traditional IRA. With a conventional IRA, you need to pay taxes when you are taking the cash out. However, the downside is regularly outweighed through the deduction for contributions in case you fall in a lower tax bracket at retirement than you did while you made the contribution. Furthermore, you cannot keep away from taxes by leaving the money in your conventional IRA indefinitely. Alternately, beginning in the 12 months you turn 70 and a half and begin withdrawing a minimum quantity each year despite your needs, although the IRS forces you to take those distributions, you should pay taxes on them. Second disadvantage is that it's lower contribution limits. Apparently, the primary drawback to the IRA is its low maximum annual funding. The maximum you may contribute to a traditional IRA or Roth IRA in 2014 was $5,500, $6,500 in case you're above 50. Another drawback is the early withdrawal penalties. The ultimate disadvantage to a conventional IRA is the capacity for early withdrawal penalties. If you take a distribution before you turn 59 and a half, you'll have to pay an additional 10% tax penalty, except you qualify for an early withdrawal exception. Sadly, there is no general complication exception, so losing your process alone may not get you out of the penalty. Exceptions consist of buying a primary domestic, higher schooling expenses, and clinical expenses. The 10% penalty is used to inspire IRA owners to hold their money of their IRA until accomplishing age 59 and a half. In case you withdraw any of your money prior to age 59 and a half, then you may incur a 10% penalty in your withdrawal quantity. There are some exceptions to the guideline educational expenses, first-time housing purchase, and clinical expenses. Limited types of investment is another thing you should consider if you choose a traditional IRA. There are positive styles of investment you cannot make, which include life insurance contracts, antiques, collectibles, and precious metal coins. There are a few kinds of cash which can be exceptions to this rule. The last drawback deals with adjusted gross income AGI, limitations. The quantity you can deduct is restricted based on your AGI and if you participate in your employer-sponsored retirement plans. Your contribution can be fully deductible on your income taxes, partly deducted or not, not deductible in any form. That's it for now. On our website you can find more posts as well as savings calculators and other financial tools. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our podcast channel on YouTube. We would love to know your thoughts on IRAs, so feel free to share them in the comments below.